Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on October 19th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Video Mike with Morning Dew. I apologize that uh, the last couple days I haven't put out my daily updates, but it has been very busy for me. I've been working my butt off, and I'm now putting my video out. I apologize to all of my subscribers. I know a couple of you have hit up the comments section. I appreciate you doing that, and that shows your support and your loyalty to this channel. And much love to all of you. So, this is a look at our sun over the last 24 hours. Lots of plasma jumping around our sphere. But we're also watching for a large coronal hole developing the south and also a large one in the north but this new one in the south is earth facing so watch for a geomagnetic watch over the next couple days as that coronal wind stream the coronal hole stream is going to be heading our way beautiful images coming from solar dynamics observatory here we are pacific disaster center and we are looking at the last updated for volcanoes and we've had a few quite a few eruptions and updates and a lot of floods and storms parts of venezuela and spain and also tunisia and of course mid-atlantic united states and Texas, Central Texas, Wisconsin, all receiving flood alerts over the past two days. Watching a lot of storms and a lot of flood alerts, as I've been warning since the beginning of my channel. These things are going to increase, and so will the earthquakes and volcanic activity. It's happening now, folks. Last 24 hours for earthquakes. Aleutian Islands still popping off some earthquakes. 4.4 recently, just now. Another one in Russia. And also Indonesia and Papua New Guinea going off today. 4.9 at 150 kilometer depth. This one here, 4.9 Indian Ocean in the Triple Junction. And then the 5.2 in Tajikistan. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. A lot of small rumbles in the Caribbean. And also South America rocking today with a few fours going off. Staying aware and prepared, I appreciate all of you guys being here. Much love to all of you. And I, again, I apologize, I did not get my video up, but I am here now. Please bear with me. I'm trying to work a full-time job as well as do this full-time. Well, here's the, yeah, 543 kilometer depth in Fiji. I was trying to find that deep earthquake, find out how deep it was but yeah 543 kilometer depth and here is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world looking at our planet a lot of earthquakes it has been very busy but still most of the earthquakes Aleutian Islands and western parts of the ring and fire Indonesia, and the Philippines, Papua New Guinea. Multiple earthquakes, Caribbean and Alaska. And also these small earthquakes in Europe and one near Norway. We're going to look at the tropical storms and we have one area of interest and we also have tropical storm Vicente who is form forming off the west coast of Ecuador. And this one here is the area of interest. 
who is heading straight north, and Vicente is heading west northwest. So it looks like these two storms could possibly form a pretty nasty storm heading up the western coast of Mexico and the United States. So stay aware and prepared and stay tuned to Morning Dew. We'll keep you up to date. Looking at the last seven day visible across North America, you can see the long line of moisture. Some call that an atmospheric river. And look at that, just pouring in. And then another large low comes along Man, what is going on with our jet stream? You're looking over the east coast. Now watch for this long line of moisture to inundate Atlantic Canada. We're going to show you here in the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Overlooking North America, temperatures dipping down to minus one, minus two overnight here in Alberta but it's still very nice. It's been upwards of 18 degrees for the last few days and I've been working outside, so it's fantastic. Large low developing for the East Coast. Watch for blizzard-like conditions throughout Quebec. And then, yeah, here's this long line of moisture that I was talking about. We'll get back to that. Here's our five day forecast for area of interest and also tropical storm Vicente. This is the area of interest and Vicente is right beside. So five day forecast shows them riding side by side moving north. I'm pretty sure that they're going to join forces. So stay aware. This is a tropical storm watch for western parts of Mexico City and also Baja and California, San Francisco Bay. We'll see. We shall see. Overlooking the rest of the world. Still a lot of rain in Myanmar. And monsoon-like conditions throughout the Philippines. Australia, very dry, starting to really warm up on the continent. Small system affecting southeast Australia later in the week. And overlooking Europe. Watch for those large lows to come from the north, start cooling things down across the United Kingdom, Great Britain, and also watching an area of interest in the Mediterranean Sea as well, a low pressure developing, hitting Greece. And then yeah, look at this large low in the north, center of the low heading towards Norway, not really going anywhere. Therefore, heading down to Europe. Stay aware and prepared. Thank you for watching today. Much love to you all. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.